Hi I am George from Max Automotive. Before we start don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's talk about 2019 McLaren Senna exterior. The most recent Ultimate series is a track prepared tribute to Ayrton Senna. An effective race auto developer from the 1960s to the 1980s, McLaren started becoming well known as a street auto producer in the mid-1990s with the F1. Propelled with numerous benchmarks, including the primary carbon fiber development, the F1 ended up noticeably a standout amongst the most famous supercars at any point made. It was great to the point that it took McLaren 15 years to give us a forerunner, the P1, presented at the 2013 Geneva Motor Show. Four years have passed, and the McLaren Ultimate Series is entering another time with a fresh out of the plastic new supercar codenamed the P15 and in the talk process for two or three years now, the McLaren Senna was divulged on December 9, 2017, as the organization's definitive street legitimate race auto. A one-of-a-kind plan that unites styling signs from the P1, 720S, and new streamlined highlights, the Senna bears the name of F1 driver Ayrton Senna, who drove McLaren Formula One autos for a long time from 1988 to 1993. While the Senna's forceful plan and streamlined features aren't astounding, the way that it's not a mixture comes as a touch of stun. With its Senna seat and donning an electric engine, the new Ultimate series was required to have a comparable format. The same goes for the inside, which has a standard left-hand drive design, regardless of models that have a mid-mounted driver's seat, similar to the old F1. In any case, this doesn't make the Senna less terrific supercar. Unexpectedly. Exterior. The natural styling prompts, the tear shape, and the monstrous back wing put the Senna in its very own association. It's essentially difficult to depict an auto like this with one work, however in the event that I were compelled to do it, I'd utilize outrageous. Actually, make that extreme. Granted, the P1 and the 720S are likewise truly extraordinary styling-wise, yet the Senna just takes things to another level. Its natural styling prompts, the tear shape, and the gigantic back wing place it in its very own alliance. The front belt is a huge takeoff from past McLaren outlines, less in style but rather more in streamlined features. There are a couple of conspicuous highlights, similar to the split hood from the P1, yet in a more forceful shape here, and the thin headlamps cut into the body. Be that as it may, everything else is new. The nose is more rakish, and the admission underneath is greater. The vents under every headlamp influence it to appear as though the nose just buoys over the splitter. It's basically an open wheeler outline with full bumpers and a shut cockpit. Things turn out to be more extraordinary on to the sides. Though past McLarens had a somewhat customary outline with the body winding up progressively more extensive toward the back, the Senna is limited between the front and back bumpers. The shape is fairly like Formula One and Indy car vehicles, with the wide side skirts acting like side units. It's basically an open wheeler outline with full bumpers and a shut cockpit. The plan may appear to be radical, however it has nothing to do with styling. Everything was considered in the breeze burrow. At the point when seen from over, the Senna has a tear shape, and every one of the segments appear to be cut onto the lodge. The smaller focus area additionally assists with cooling, having empowered McLaren to fit enormous vents into the back bumpers and the side skirts. Around back, the Senna has nothing in a similar manner as past McLaren's. While both the P1 and 720S have natural outlines with bunches of streaming lines, the Senna's back belt is about level highlights. The deck is truly level as well, just like the upper side of the diffuser, which stands out a couple of good crawls from the body. The back bumpers likewise have an interesting outline, raising over the deck lid to make to make an efficiently improved region. The bumpers are sponsored by noticeable gurney folds that immediate air far from the back deck. The fumes funnels are put on the deck lid as well, confronting upward, yet another one-of-a-kind outline. 
The two-fold component carbon fiber raised wing sits four feet from the street at its most astounding point. Beneath, there are thin LED taillights relatively covered up underneath the edge of the deck lid. The basic outline is likewise the consequence of serious air testing, as they limit interference to wind current. The two-fold diffuser is similarly as wide as the back belt and uses its remarkable outline to make a low-weight zone that sucks the auto more tightly to the ground. The visual dramatization is finished by the two-fold component carbon fiber rays wing. Sitting four feet from the street at its most elevated point, the wing has relatively vertical stanchions and huge side cases. The outline is somewhat irregular for a street auto, being nearer to something you'd find on an undeniable race auto, however it demonstrates that McLaren made no bargains on its approach to finding the best optimal design. Discussing which, both the front and back area include dynamic streamlined features and McLaren claims they raise downforce and air control to a remarkable level. There aren't any genuine figures to back this claim, however it's difficult to contend given the outrageous plan. Goodness, and did I say that each board is produced using carbon fiber? On the whole, the McLaren Senna is emotional most definitely and, while it's not the prettiest auto the British firm has constructed up until now, its optimal design and usefulness ought to be better than the P1 and possibly the track just P1 GTR.